right, guys. So we have uh, Tyler G. and Cheta, a.k.a. Keta, uh, Feta Bob, a.k.a. Cheta Bob, Cheta Bob, Cheta Bob. <laughs> versus, <laughs> so who's Andrews, Andros, what's his real name? So, um, Zach Brown. Zach Brown. It's, I think, I'm pretty sure he's the famous sing- singer, country singer, Zach Brown. Yeah. Like, the, from the Zach Brown band. Yeah, I think that's, that's the one and only. He's like a classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an, I mean, how many other Zach Browns do you know? That's not a common name, so. No. Um, yeah. <laughs> And then, like, you know, Zach Brown in real life actually does look like a dinosaur, so coincidence? I think not. But let's see. <laughs> so, uh, Tyler, though, he played, um, oh, yeah, so our hosts, we have, you know, of course, me, Yugi, yes, yes, Sam Cox, and then we have yep. Nelson Vincent, who uh, won his round one game. Um, and uh, Tyler obviously won his round one game because this is now round two. So um, we are getting down to um, the nitty-gritty here. We are we the top 16 this is officially oh, God. so what if i just sets one and pass this isn't good oh no hmm. that's really bad well so let's see what andros <laughs> is playing oh what Ooh. is he oh. playing Morality. oh God, do you just arrow. start yes oh, wait, what? whoa Ooh, what drowning though he's gonna search that drowning Ah, uh, he might search. Probably. He might search strike. I don't know. But what is he playing? Like the Star Saris, but with Pot of Duality. He might be playing what? He could be playing Star Saris, te- um, Teller Knights. I remember that was a deck a while ago. Yeah. And uh, Star Saris on its own is technically a deck, just like Teller Knights on its own is technically a deck. So. Or maybe he's playing back row dot deck because that's set three though. Uh, what did he add? I mean, you so saw had... that you saw that drowning in that strike. I don't know what he added back, but I mean, I think he, he... added back the drowning. Mm-hmm. Ugh, gross. Well, the thing is about the drowning, he can like if I mean if he if uh, Tyler can get something really big on board, right? And like, well, here's the deal, Tyler. He could have trap master set. You know this. Yeah, I got trap master. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Rat Master. Never, <laughs> Tier zero you never first. know. Yeah, but, but he can, I mean, he can just normal summon something big and then just like keep poking until like he had you know put him on a clock until he has to activate the drowning. That would be the smart thing to do. Well, you don't want to set up a nice big board knowing that he has it. Oh, Ooh. yep, he's playing his mermails. There we go. So I wouldn't be surprised Man, if he just went every to... day. Every day, Tyler G and Chetta becomes more like. Um, Baron. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this speaks to me. <laughs> so like, we have this friend for everybody that's watching on the, um, so like, his name is Baron and he's from Texas. And I mean, this guy is just like, I swear, what is this? Of course controller. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I shit you guys not. Every time we were playing, he opened the controller every fucking game. That's horrible. Wow. Wow. That's fun. Okay. So is he going to strike this guy? Oh, someone's good. Ouch. Wow. So, okay. so what if he's playing all battle traps and you go, you can discard two cards, destroy them. So, oh, and then he's got the title in the grave, the one title. Wow. Oh, Yosinju. He's demise. playing Yosinju. So he got the quaking wow. and the Yosinju. And so, so that, this, the drowning is still there. The drowning, yeah. That's weird because um, uh, with the sovereignty, I'm really curious on what he's doing with the sticks and the chairs. Um, you know what I mean? Because it's like Yosinji's yeah, play a lot of stuff where you're not allowed to. Yeah, it seems like it's kind of random. Like you, like Yosinji is typically are just you know you play eight Yosinji monsters and then three demise and then. 25 fucking traps or whatever. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> but, yeah, it uh, looks like he gets out the uh, Megalo. Since side decking will be interesting. Yeah, it will be really interesting. <laughs> Although, it's uh, awesome that he's playing the title, though. Ah, uh, I can't click the graveyard. Bullshit. He what? I, w- I want to see what he has in his graveyard to see what he can do with his board, but... Oh, uh, yeah, welcome it. welcome to spectating. Yeah, spectating oh. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, like, every single time we do this, we're like, ah, oh, crap. Yeah, I can't see the graveyard. Can't see. So, it's kind of a bummer, but, um... 
Yeah. So if I'm not mistaken, Tyler has the ti- um, the title, obviously, the gun and the pike in there, and one and the controller. I think that's what his graveyard looks like right now. Yep. Is there any way that um, Cheddar Bob is going to be able to OTK? No, I don't think so. Not. Uh, he's trying to think about how to play around that drowning. Like right now, it would be it'd be retarded for him to attack because he knows that that's a drowning yep. force. Um, so he's going into a rank seven. Draco sack. Oh, that's what he's gonna do. So uh, once per turn, you can tribute one token to target one card on the field. Destroy that target. It cannot attack. So he's gonna activate Draco sack, spawn the tokens, pop a token to pop the drowning, and then just like that. He has played around the drowning mirror force, but he's not gonna be able what to. What if attack. it? What if it's not even drowning? What if it's not even yeah, a drowning? Yeah, it's, so, nope, it's there's not. Drowning. Yeah. And hopefully oh, that'd he be remembers. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully he remembers Bob, that he man. can't attack with Draco sack when he uses that effect, <laughs> because that'd be really bad. Huh. But, drowning equal Wabaku. <laughs> yeah. Right. But it looks like he's activating a uh, title. So yeah, you can activate title and uh, get out, get get it out, and uh, attack for uh, however much uh, title has on like sixteen or something, twenty six. So twenty six. So yeah, he's gonna get twenty six hundred damage in that way though. So that's not terrible. Unless the unless his opponent's playing some sort of hand trap like a battle fader, swift scarecrow. You never know what these like. Oh, whoa! No, yeah, he lost. Oh. oh! I'm messaging okay. up Andros right no. now. No, 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 no
and he gets like I think last time he got like a top eight at freaking Tulsa playing what was it like Yosinju statues or yeah, some yeah. crap you know what I mean so it's like that kid's, uh, that kid's really Tyler, weird, why are you giving him plates <laughs> but anyway so I hope that Tyler gets a good um butt kicking out of this it would just be it'd be funny to watch like it'd be funny if I saw honor arc you know, oh he's gonna honor arc the Draco sack yeah just like Tyler told him to that's yeah. uh so I'm gonna help this oh he's honor arc it guy you'll be fine uh, so he can oh <laughs> yeah uh, he's probably gonna kill that token uh is he going into like um Wait, uh, what's that about? one? No, no, he's gonna he's gonna go ahead in their battle phase and he's going to uh, kill the token. Yep. We'll be sent to the shadow yeah. realm. <laughs> and uh, I forget what the rulers do. So during your phase, you can uh, whatever. But yeah, I'd say the same thing for you know anybody else. Like I'm just like man, I hope they get a good old butt kicking on the internet. That'd be awesome, in front of God and everybody. Just. I mean, and if it was like, you know, Tyler, aka you can no no on there, like I'd be like, dude, I'm going for the other person. I don't care if they're playing. Yeah. Anything. <laughs> so the Tyler will go to the hand. Yeah. Like on arc in one back row. Huh. Yeah, I'm very. I'm very. Um, Tyler does have the card advantage. Yeah. But that honor arc can't die. It can't be destroyed by card effects, though. So, or battle or card effects. Well, what it's really funny because, like, I think he's. I think a lot of people put honor arc in this, um, in their extra decks for this tournament because a lot of um, 2015 and before decks are actually being played. Yeah. So, like, I think the honor arc was like a good choice <laughs> because yeah. I mean it was, you know, pre, you know, before a lot of stuff. So, um, well, he's. Um, do what? Before Kaijus were a thing? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's weird because now we have, like, you know, Insector Kaijus. Somebody was playing that stuff the other day. I was like, wow. Okay. Oh, it's the season. He's got an honor arc, his honor arc. I would die. I would be like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, my that God. That used to happen all the time, dude. Arc all arc. the time. Yeah. Uh, man, talk about freaking E-Balls and Evil Swarm format. That's, that's what that was, man. Yeah. Those were the days. Getting all nostalgic on me, or he could go. Oh no, he. No, never mind. I'm about to say, or he could go Toad, but we can't right here because and, we and. kick that crap out. Yeah, Toad's um, too good. He could just castell it though. I mean, let's get real. He, he's just trying to bait the back row. I think is really what he's trying to do. When you start out with instant fusion, when your opponent has a back row, you're just trying to bait it out. Yeah, arc the arc. Oh, that takes oh, Yeah. <laughs> I'll steal your boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From that shit. Oh my gosh. And then, uh, it, so, it's not going to be able to be destroyed by card effects, either battle or card effects. So that back row, it could be like a regular Mirror Force, for example, and that arc wouldn't live. But, I mean, it's probably drowning, though, to get real. Yeah, like, like uh, drowning, uh, yeah, drowning, quaking, storming, any of those will screw over that arc. Except for the dark one. Dark one's crap. He said, has, he said hashtag 2004 things. Yeah. 2014 things. <laughs> Title effect of summon. Ugh. Oh, he's going he's in. taking me back. Guys. He's going in. I'm going to laugh so hard at some sort of mirror for his Wow, dude. he's going he's gonna to risk it uh -huh. on game. Oh, oh. Um. <laughs> Get wrecked, dude. He, he, oh. had, he had to risk it. Those are going to be useless now. With quaking, they could not be flipped back up. But at the same time, though, um, how is um, um, Adam, you know, uh, Zach Brown going to get over that, uh, you know, that, uh, what is that, 1,000 defense? He just has to get by 1,000 defense and uh, the uh, titles, uh, what, 2,100 or 2,000, 2000 yeah, whatever it is. So he's got, he still has to get around that stuff with you, Sinjus. So. Yeah, Cheddar Bob did make a good point on there. He said, if I didn't put enough on board to kill you, you would have saved it. Yeah. And that is right. I mean, he's he's not he's not wrong. So, um, I'm I'm so, um, it's it's hard to, it's hard when you talk about card advantage whenever it comes to a game where they have two monsters face down that they can't even use. So, um, 
I would say card advantage is almost even, uh, just because. No, he's no, know. it's it's not because um, you know, Andros is gonna have to you know really like burn through cards oh, he's sent. Like yeah, he's, uh, he he, he can't. Like, someone said Megalo, like he says right here in the chat. Uh, you know, Sinjus have a really hard time getting around established boards no. without trash. Well, uh, traps. That's maybe. a um, that's got to be a uh, like a fossil diner or something. Or a gecky. Oh, okay. Oh, he... Well, I'm very confused. Why didn't he, um... So Andros must have really bricked if he's doing that. If he's, like, sending you'll send you, setting them. Okay, he must so... be in a really tough spot. So, Ooh, I'm gonna... 16. Uh, okay, well, so he puts him on a clock here, so he's gonna need a trap. Needs a trap because setting monsters is not gonna work. Because I think they all the Sinjus have like a thousand defense or something. Like, see, that Suchik has zero defense, so. Well, that stinks, man. We're still game one, right? Yeah, we were still in game one. Yeah, it's still yeah. game one. And the so, comma one, no effect. So he has no Yosenju in hand. Oh, but you know what? He's going to just smack into that. <laughs> okay. Well, not bad. Is, not that... bad. I mean, that could have been good or bad. I highly doubt that he Expect has a point eight that he's going to be able to put on board. But yeah, that, that's what I was saying was, I think that... <laughs> he's normal from an stream? Oh, dude, that's freaking... Oh, you know what? We left... We forgot to ban the baby rulers since we brought the daddies back to <laughs> one. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's why. That's why everyone's playing Dark Matter Rulers. Or everyone playing. That's Dark awesome, Matter man. Today. That's awesome. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep it going, man. They, 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 I'm just they, over here, like. Dude, it nostalgia. cracks me up. It, it cracks me up that we thought we had like every everything covered about the format. We like and then we reworked it. We were like, okay, now we really, really have everything covered. People still found like stupid loopholes. <laughs> oh, I was actually talking to this guy the other day, telling him, "Wait, we have rulers." Yeah, he just he just had demise, so that'll change. Yeah, that'll change a lot. Uh oh. Uh, Unless he draws all monsters, then he's screwed. I mean, I don't yeah, know. If he draws all monsters, it can all be your same use potentially, so it won't even be that bad. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, so ah! two sinews. So that was comma, that was comma one, two, and a duality. Um, it's it's hard to say what you would do right here because it's like. I think if he has another, you'll send you in hand. Comma one would be best because that one can bounce stuff. I think. Yeah. I hate when I pop the pot, man. Uh, yeah. That just that just really grinds my gears, you know. Dude. Uh, Earlier today, I was playtesting um a potential deck for next round. I'm not gonna play it just because of this. I, it was Nurse Burn, uh -huh. but I pot of desires into two more desires and I set them. Activated um, card of demise and threw two, uh, my other two demises. Like, are you fucking kidding me, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you can ask Tyler about that. I, I saw that. Yep, fuck this game. I just quit. I just got. I just logged out of the um, long book. I was so mad. Dude, I, have a, I have a feeling that the finals of this might end up being Dark Matter Rulers versus Fluffle. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think it. I, I don't know. Cool, Tyler takes on damage. Alright, so now we're back well, this is we're, a... we're back even on the card advantage really, but with that set card I mean I mean they're it, it, it's those I don't wanna say they're non existent, but here's the deal, like the um they're they're set but but they're not gonna go anywhere because um, all the Ascensions attack direct, so yeah, that's uh, true. I mean, I that's what I that's what I was saying earlier. It's it's hard to like gauge card advantage whenever you're playing, uh, whenever they're quaking. Then you know, I don't know. It's just weird. Unless he like you know tributes them both for a freaking another dragon ruler or something. <laughs> that would just be weird. <laughs> No, we, we, or, we, we, the dad, we, yeah, we don't, we're like a, a, it would have to be like a Megalo or something because we have yeah. the daddy rulers at once. So, yeah, what, sure. so what's Andrew's waiting for?
what you thinking about? I'm probably going to mess up the wording on it, but I believe it's comma two. Chandler one is yes, minus Chandler two. Right. Yeah. That's not you ask your opponent, but yeah. Hmm. So the, okay. the, the demise, yeah, that's right. That's very important because the demise will resolve discarding uh, the monster in his hand. Because that obviously that's, that's the only reason why it would be important. Yep. Which is so chair. weird. It's chair. Why is he playing sticks and chairs? I'm that's very, so bizarre. Yeah, I'm really confused on it. But I mean, who knows? You know, it may be. Are, are your sentries, are they are they light? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's going to be sending a Yep. Oh, uh, oh. Ooh. Maybe something Gamma C oh, works. Yep. <laughs> uh, but this right here. GG, sir. Oh, GG. Okay. So that set uh, card must have been like a, 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 a ton of uh, duality or an instant fusion. Another demise. Or, yeah, I mean, something. Yeah. Another demise. Something that he couldn't use. All right. Yeah, I could definitely see another demise getting. So game one goes to Kenner Bob. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Cheddar Bob. Man, I hope he gets just the crap smacked out of him on this match, though. <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm just praying for just, like, a, a, a complete just turnaround. Like, so do I. I mean, Tyler, Tyler is my friend, but I just can't stand the deck he's playing. I cannot stand the Mormons. I have nothing well, to I mean, stand that deck. Not only that, I just, like, I love seeing my friends just lose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, unless it's at, like, Nats or something, you know, then I'm, like, standing behind, you know, Tyler being, like, like, oh man, why did you make that play? Or, yeah. you know, just sort of like some tournament or something. I'm just like, man, you should have done this or what. But if it's online, I'm just what like, get Rex. What is literally due to Tyler at locals that they call time and he's still playing because he loves to either play grindy decks or just slow play? I'll walk up to him like, Tyler, don't mess up. You're messing up. You're messing up. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, a, it's, that's what happens to me too because, like, you know, I play Fluffles, which is an OTK deck. And I go into time more than anybody you would see ever. Like it's just it's just it's hilarious because it's like I don't know. Like it, everybody's like, how do you go into time so much with an OTK deck? I'm like, man, it takes so much skill. You don't even know. Like, well, you gotta take you, well now you gotta think it's a factor of the 25 minutes it takes the turn one zoo combo that your opponents probably make. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. They they needed to freaking make it 50 minutes per turn for. I know. <laughs> like last for, week, for match. last week at local, I was playing against somebody. I was playing Metal Foe Zoo with the um, Bow Baboons, and he literally handed me his fidget spinner so I could play with it as he did his Zodiac combos. Then it was my <laughs> turn playing. I was playing. I'm playing Zephyrus, and then I gave it right back to him so he can start doing his thing with the fidget spinner. Oh my gosh! Just shuffle. Just hand shuffle. Like there'll be a faggot. He's, <laughs> he's a fidget spinner. Oh my gosh. Oh, All right. Um, oh, up to this. Dude, I will say that the fidget That's spinner good. memes are, are pretty lit. Like, the fidget spinner memes have been freaking fire. But, yeah. All right, so the, he opened up Abyss, but he's going first, though, so there won't be an OTK. But he could potentially rip two cards out of the out of Andros's hands. True. Which I... Like, that's what... That's why it's kind of uh, kind of like about this deck. One of the very few things it, can, it doesn't matter how much back row the opponent has, or if it's going first or second, they can like play around everything. They have so much fuel in the tank. Yeah. Man, I just hope I just hope Cheddar Bob gets wrecked, just flat out, just boom, get wrecked. I don't. I don't know. Awesome. Uh, with with since um, I I think that. Andrew's kind of is at a disadvantage by not going first because you have to set your traps in this deck. You know, you really do. But at the same time, though, I could see his logic where he's like, well, I don't want to get OTK'd either if I don't draw enough traps. So it could, either way, like he, it just depends on the thought process. Yeah, I, I, anything that like is playing card of the, um, yeah, card of demise wants to go, um, wants to go first so it can make his back row. Yeah. You want that set five pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So why didn't he choose to go... Why didn't he choose to go first? Oh, wait. Oh, I guess... Well, I guess your Sinjus could go second just because... Um... Like... You attack directly anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, only one of them attacks directly. Yeah, only one of them attacks directly. Do they? Yeah. 
Comma one bounces shit. Comma two attacks directly by cutting his attack points in half. Comma three searches when another you'll send you does damage and Sujik is like um uh is like a collute for them. Yeah. Man, you you and Cheddar Bob know all of the facts about random rogue decks. Like we we like me and him <laughs> were commentating Flyer Guardians the other day, and he was like telling me what everything does. I'm like, bro. What? Seriously. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> I used to, I used to, I used to screw with him with the with the flower guardians when we got the first wave of support. Yeah, I, I, man, they, that, those turns took so long. Yeah, because all the all the guardians do is he's like draw if it's a guardian, so we gotta keep going, keep going. But once they hit something that's not a flower guardian, they their turns is done in most cases. Ugh. Something else. I should have added something. I'm really confused. Did Tyler mess up? I think so. He has Dragoon Stream and one other one other monster in his graveyard, which I didn't see. Ooh. Well, Rangers game going into the tenth inning. Ugh, and I'm missing it for this crap. <laughs> 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 Uh, at, least, at least it ain't the Cowboys. It could be worse, man. <laughs> the Cowboys <laughs> never time. I'd be like, I'd be like, screw you guys. <laughs> oh, so he's gonna go. What 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 rank seven? Um, you think that he would go into right here? I think he'd go for the Mermel one. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Huh. That would be a good one. Or Flare Metal because yeah. they activate a lot of shit. Might as well burn him while he's at yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're. Yeah, I mean, Flare Metal wouldn't be bad. It just seems like a, um, well, I guess Flare Metal can't be destroyed by Battle of the Card Effects either, so. I want yep. go, go Metal. Oh, he's just leaving it on. Huh. He's, he's just leaving it on, and, uh, looks like he's just gonna see if, uh, if Andrews has, like, you know, the means to get around and stuff. I mean, I probably would have gone into the... Well, it depends. What did he equip, what did he equip the uh, spell to? Was it, um, Oh, uh, uh, that's why. I mean, not gonna come one in the effect veiler. Holy Ooh. crap, that hurts! Wow, that put yeah, that put I think that put a damper on him. Um, now, if he the thing is though, he is playing a lot of traps, so I mean, he could be setting um, you know, quakings. I mean, drowning's gonna be dead. If he has a drowning though, because that is not going to return to uh, to the hand, right? Until the end of the turn. No, but... it's going to stay on the field. Yeah. Oh wow! So yeah, that drowning will be dead, broken. Wow. Good, dying up the miss, dying. Yep. Take that damage. There's the back row. Two. Uh, uh, uh. Only two. Two, three. Me. <laughs> wow. Okay. I mean, I still hope that Chad Rob gets wrecked here, so. <laughs> well, the thing is, right now, he's going to have to play. He's going to have to play around that set three. Stingy. Stingy. Oh, orange. okay. So no rank sevens. No rank sevens and no rank fours. Ooh. They warned him about this earlier. Wow. That card. Stygian wow. Dirge is a great okay. card. Dude, Tyler used Stygian Dirge like all of what? What did you? What did you, didn't you like side bet whenever you were playing like? I, I side. I, 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 I side it like any anti-meta deck I play in an XZ's format. Let's put it like that. Uh, I was side. I remember, or well, obviously. Card. The, the what, one what? format where Snatch Deal came back. I was playing Evil Swarms, and. Just to just to completely fuck with people at my regionals, I put in one acid golem and one Zen mains in my side, I guess, because I knew this was a card. Yeah. And and I was playing mission for the gnomes in my main deck, so it really helped. They did it to me all day and I was looking at them going, Okay, cool. Acid golem, get over it. Smack, smack, smack. Um, yeah, I I, I played Dirge and Evil Swarms, but um, I also played I think I briefly might have played it in Monarchs maybe, but um, I play I've sided it in Cybers. I've sided Dirge in like 
so many decks. Like, I don't think... Well, I, I just remember that. I remember you always citing that stinking card, and I was just like, it's really... I mean, it, it was the best thing against Burning Abyss, though. Yeah, well... Like, oh, yeah. Oh, it just killed them. It, it, like, yep. oh. It killed, it killed Burning Abyss, but uh, it really it really wrecked. It was really a, um, a, a dank side against Teller and I, um, because they were yeah, just well, auto lose. Same format with the Snatch Steel. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, that format was like... Klee, Shadal, BA, Tellers, if I'm not... This was yeah. before Necros. This was right after Secrets of Eternity. Yeah. Uh, Dirge is just... There's just certain formats where Dirge yeah. is really, really good. And I actually found some interesting cards that are just like Stygian and Dirge, but they're hand traps. And it's, like, Ooh. really old cards. Yeah, like, I've, it's the... Uh, I forgot their names. I have them, like... Basically, I have, like, three, like, binders of commons of just, like, good commons. Really like random tech cards and crap that I found in my comments, and uh, I just kind of like, you know, read them and added them in there when I had some more time on my hands. Uh, mm. But wow, thirty-two hundred. Yeah, this is this is crazy right now. Oh, here. he's taking the damage. Wow, and I think it can attack. Wow. Drowning, 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 drowning. drowning. There it is. There yeah, we go. So that Boom. Un unbricked the drowning. Wow. Okay. Cool. 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 Get wrecked, Shadow Bob. Yeah. Get wrecked. You suck. <laughs> Dude, that dirge oh, okay. is a problem for him. I mean, he could still uh, win off the back of just the Mermail's high attack alone, but uh, it's gonna be. It's definitely just gonna be harder for him in general with the uh, all the all the rest of the back row that uh, uh, Yosinju's play. So now Zach does have the hand, hand advantage yeah, for sure, right he's, here. He's got card advantage, period. and he's only behind. He's only behind eight hundred life points too. So, um, what's he banishing? What's it for? What? Well, he's banishing stream and maybe one more for title. Okay, there you're right. We well, yeah, I guess that was smart on Cherry Bob's uh, side of it for not doing that before. Uh, oh wait, what happened? He summoned the title that he set one and passed. Yep. Did he pass? Did he pass turn already though? Yeah. Yes. Oh well. Duality. Hmm. There'll be a random chair in there. Watch. Begin with the duality. Duality, flying C, and comma three. Um, I think in this case, I'd probably end up picking the comma three. Yeah, because he needs to start getting some damage on board while he has card advantage. Or, because, you know, Mermel's can plus, um, so, uh, he just needs to definitely, um, you know, get, get in just as much damage as possible while he can. Uh, so we know he has, um, we know he has two little Senjus in there, because last <laughs> turn... When he summoned comma one, he tried to do the effect before it got Baylord. So we know he has comma three and one more you'll send you at the least. Mm -hmm. And so and they each they each allow additional normal summons too, right? Except for Sujik. And the scales. Okay. Um and the really big ones. Okay, no one so down down comes comma three. And it gets chaliced. Wow. Dang. That's... So he cited chalice against it. Savage. Hmm. And that dirge, I think that um, we're going to see Tyler be able to play around that dirge without any problem, honestly. Dirge is a really clever side, <clears throat> but I just don't think that it's going to make that big of a difference. Not against, you know, his deck anyways. Like, against... Um, it's going back to the hand. Yep. Yeah. Let's see what happens here. It's really interesting. Like, I don't know. I know I keep saying this, but we've had so many um, just crazy, crazy, crazy oh. matchups in this tournament. It's been ridiculous. So, title again. And it's just title to title to title to title, like... Well, he will run out of um, resources in his grave sooner or later. Eventually. Yeah. So. 
Yeah, he'll run out. He'll run out sooner or later. Well, what what should have been really cool right here, Tyler? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm talking to you. You know, no, Tyler. Um, is because um, like if remember the the build that Baron played at Arlington in Texas? Like he played the Spiral Resort. He kept recycling stuff. It would have been really cool if he would have checked that in with this, because then he would have just been able to keep going and going and going with the title. Sure. Um, I don't have no idea. Another, here's a cool thing with Spyro is what you can do with the new stuff. And this I only know because he has my friend plays a deck. That with the new guy, Spyro Sleeper, the one that like lets you pop two things on the field. No, two oh, things wow. on the field once during either player's turn. If you have Spyro Resort on the field and you have the, the level 4 equip monster, the Sleeper won't die. So you can just keep popping two cards on your opponent's field during every turn. Wow. And just standing, sleeping on the, and just standing on the sleeper, or sleeping on the sleeper. Uh. Ooh, so right there he activates, so he's probably gonna go into battle here. He's on the title. Yeah, so there's the, he's gonna get a thousand off the Sujik. And the end phase are both bouncing up. Um, he could, he, I mean, he could make a dweller against Vermils. It wouldn't be terrible, but with that uh, would bad at all. No. Let's see if he oh, goes God. in the toilet. Maybe he heard me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, this is dwellers. It's, it'd be funny. Oh, no, oh, he goes in the Tiger Ooh. King. It's the Tiger King he's going to search. Probably wow. the Tanky. Yep, he's going to do Tinky, then Tinky effect, and then search, uh... Well, no, 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 here's what it is, because, like, depending on what he has... I'm going to sound retarded, but depending on what he has in his hand, he could actually, um, OTK him. Right here. Um, in phase 2? No, yeah, in phase oh, 2, bro. My, my, <laughs> duh, wait, hold on. I was looking at my phone for a second. Like, I'm... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> anyway, I looked yeah. back up weird in main phase 2. My bad. Three to him. The upstart. He just top decked that too. Wow. Well. well. Um. I wonder if he. Diva. Diva. But it's a level one because it's TG and Dirk. Yeah, it is a level one. So I wonder if he plays any, um, uh, like, was it, what would it have to be, like, level See what he gets, so I'm dying four? Time. Level four? Uh, no, no, level three synchro. So, uh, is it the, uh, is it the seahorse? Is it the seahorse? Yeah. The level three? So, we're going to see he the seahorse. Two water, so he's going back to the title. Stupid the title, man. Ooh, that's, but, that's a level eight. Yeah, no, it's the, it's the level. We have a level six here. So, level six title, a one diva, and a one. Uh, no, sorry, a two marksman. So. That's a, that can be. That's a Trish. Yeah, that is, yeah that's Trishula. Wow. That I is, would just crap my pants. Yeah. That, that is Trishula. Oh, no. If, if he, uh, he's, he's, going, he's going for damage, though. So, he's going for distance. 23 because of the. He's going for speed. <laughs> nobody knows, man. Nobody knows. 90s kids. Hashtag. Yeah, yeah. Nobody knows what it's like. Um, <laughs> yeah. damage, but whatever. Nelson, Nelson's Look. over here still talking about Yu-Gi-Oh. We're talking about Limp Bizkit. Yeah, Limp Bizkit. Well, actually, you, know, you know, that was actually a cover. The, that Limp yeah, yeah. yeah. It was originally like Pink Floyd or something like that, isn't it? No, I don't think Behind it was. Blue Eyes? Yeah. No? I don't think it was Floyd. Somebody. No, that definitely wasn't Floyd. Floyd, like, wrote some uh, more, uh, I call it psychedelic, psychedelically depressed stuff. <laughs> like, that was Pink Floyd. <laughs> so this is the guy that's on the new, um, what's that new Phantasm trap card? This is the dude that's on it, the um, heavy in infantry. Marksman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see him from the other side. Yeah. 
For some reason, the other day, I thought it was Ronan Tonin. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> if I can make, I could make Leo with everything. You do it, you won't. <laughs> That's six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yeah, it's Leo. And, he, and he's filling up his graveyard. <clears throat> wow. Uh, man, Rangers lost in the tenth. Uh, because because that I wasn't sucks. watching. <laughs> oh, well, Leo, good luck out in that. Yeah. Well, then again, though, he's playing a lot of battle traps that don't target, so... Probably have that easily, depending on his hand. Yeah, oh, he said, "Oh my God, yours." Whatever that means. So, who do you think? Who do you, do you think that um, Zach really has like oh. a pretty nice chance to come back on this? Comma one and the comma three. Lightning. Yeah, lightning could come out. And Stygian Dirge only uh, affects opponents' monsters, not your own, so it's like freaking good. Yep, he's going in the lightning. Wow. Wow. This is actually a really fun game. It's like really back and forth. Yep. Wow, he's going to be stuck. I mean, he will still have that title in the grave, though. But I think that he's running out of resources in the grave to use that with, though, to be honest. Yes, he is. Uh, because even the Leo wasn't a water, so... Um, hey, what, if he, what if he top decks uh, a, a prince here or he something? Like, he's got top deck something, like something good. Kaiju, maybe? Another diva? I don't know. Diva at one. Yeah, one or two. So, yeah, there's the title. Yes, smack the, t uh, smack the lightning. Yeah. Oh! He summons a controller. <laughs> wow. That could be a level 8 synchro. That could be this like is a starlight. Yeah. Extremely interesting. Let's see if he's got a level 8 synchro. Omega. <sighs> Omega, dude. No, he passed, so he doesn't play a level 8 synchro. Bet Tyler's happy to see Gen X controller now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this oh, is a fun match, dude. Oh, he set yeah, the yeah. card. The T set. I know. Title coming back. I don't think I've ever seen Title come back so many times in my life. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Usually someone's just like, like, killing it or, or killing it. Something. <laughs> killed it. It makes up. you. It makes you wonder what the um, what the face down card is. It seemed like he was pretty confident in it. To be honest with you. Ooh, interesting. So he's using titles effect to send a monster from deck to grave. Huh. Well, yeah, it does do that. That's other effects. Yeah. Oh, okay. of course. Megalo. Man. Gunned. For okay. sure. Oh. Good to pick. Wow, okay. But, man, if this is a quaking again, though. Oh, man. If it's, a, if it's a quaking, he's pretty much done for. Smacks the flying sea. So maybe it's a drowning. No, he takes the 1400, so that was most likely a bluff. Or, or something... It's Useless, yeah, or demise or something. Like See, what's interesting, I don't know why he cited Flying C. Like, I don't feel like that was necessary. Dirge? Uh, well, what? It, it's because oh, of what happened in game one. It's what, it's it's just because of what happened in game one, honestly. Card demise. of demise. Ooh, is demise. Man, that's, a, that's a card. That is a card. Yeah. But he also got, what else did he get? Did he dwell into another duality? He, he um, no, he dwelled into, into two Yosenjus and a demise. No, I thought I saw a Star Shraft. Was there? Maybe. I saw a comma too. Um. Yeah, it was Scepter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scepter, comma oh. two, and demise. So he takes. Well, demise. he can he can go plus one with the demise right here. Um. I mean, he needs back row right now. He needs back row. So, um, I would oh, honestly, I, if he if he's I'm got another monster in his hand. 
if he's got another monster in his hand, I would honestly like just flat out probably summon the monster first. It might actually benefit, but plus one, uh, he may break even depending on if he pitches anything at the end of his turn. So, uh, no. Come on. I mean, I don't know. Do we get there? Let's see. I mean, if he has, he has, if he has comma one at any other Yosinju, he could bounce the Mermail. And then yeah, he said, he said that's a good game for him. Yep, that's a good game. Oh Don't wow! Wow! All right, so it's such a grindy game. Holy crap! First game he, of he uh, uh, round with two. The seraph seed, like I don't know why he's playing the seraph seed. Bricked with two chairs, and oh, and a, and a stick in hand. Wow, that is bad. That is. He, oh. Oh yeah, because yeah. yeah, yeah. See, I don't, I don't know why he's playing the star strike. Maybe he, maybe there's something about the deck that we don't know. Zach, I definitely well, want to uh, yeah, see what's going on. Yeah, like uh, I want to see this deck profile because like demise, you know, you can't special summon the turn you use demise or the the, the, the turn that you use duality. So it's very interesting yeah. that he's playing the uh, the star strike. I'm engine. gonna ask him what was his face down. What was your face down? Oh, that was all the morning. Oh. And never mind. He, he think he heard me. No, yeah. There's the yeah. warning. Yeah. So, so the yeah, warning won't stop an attack. So that that'll do it. Yep. That'll do it. I actually, I would like to, um, I'd like to get that profile from Zach because I want to know his, what his um, thought process was, like thoughts are. On, yeah, because it, it seems. I mean, I, I'm I'm a big fan of the Star Seraph stuff anyway. So it's like, I mean, I I want to know what he was thinking with it. So, uh. Either way, all right, guys. Well, uh, we may have another match coming up tonight. Really depends uh, on what's going on with everybody else in the tournament. We are kind of getting, we are round two, top sixteen, so we don't have as many people. Um, if pens available. were legal, it would have made Madochi magicians, but pendulums oh. are are legal. Or as long as you're talking about full powered. Huh. Madochi magicians. Either way. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So we will see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye, guys.